hey what's up guys welcome back to another video where i edit your photos these photos i got from the amazing is it kessie gosse i'm just going to leave a handle down in the description she is a model she yeah she she models and she also takes photography as a hobby and these are some of the amazing images she got from her visit to tulum in mexico which has always been a dream for me to you know end up there sometime in the future right so today's video will be going about color grading this in capture one i promised that in this year i was going to make a lot of color grading videos in capture one so this is the first time i'm going to color this well i've, I've already colored this in lightroom and i did post um, a poll on my um instagram story just to figure out which one people would love the best and i felt like oh hey if i have my hands on these raw files then let me just send them to capture one then make a video on capture one and how i would go about you know editing such an image in capture one so you actually be following along with me as i go through then each and every step i take for the first time in capture one on these particular images i love the setting of these images the only problem i have with this is that the background is quite blown out than the subject or should i say within the shadows there are a lot of haze in the shadows and there's a lot of whites and highlights in this image well as you can see the settings iso 1.5 shutter speed 1 over 200 f1.4 at 16 millimeters she shot this with an m50 so you know no critiques there but i love the photos to be very honest i really love the photos i'm seeing over here and this seems to be one of my favorites and this also you know they, they are all looking great so there's one thing i want to tell you guys when you want to you know edit and capture one or today's video is about color grading when you want to color grade at all there's no um how should i put this there are no right ways to go about color grading color grading is preferential whatever it is you want to do to the image you do to the image if you want to make a cold you make a cold if you want to make it warm you make it warm right so there are no right way or wrong way to color grade it only happens to be whoever is viewing your image that can judge if it's a wrong color grade or if it's a right color grade and i also feel like because we are in this social world or we are in this global world where we are always prone to good content i believe everyone knows what a good grade will look like and what a bad grade will look like nobody can judge but i feel like within yourself you know what a good grade looks like and what a bad grade looks like so what's one tip i would share to you guys whenever it is i'm color grading this whatever color i don't want in the image i would have to either remove it or um, replace it with its complementary color keep this in mind whatever color i don't want to see in my image i'll either remove it from the image or replace it with its complementing color so all i have to do is locate where the set color is then i'll tackle the set color within that range so if the colors are within the highlights i know that i'm going to tackle the colors in the highlights if it's within the shadows i'll go into the shadows if it's within the midtones i will tackle the midtones i hope i made myself clear so once again locate where the color is on the image then tackle it by either removing the color or replacing the set color with its complementary color and that's how best you can go about with color grading you know mostly color correction is even color grading if you ask me so the first thing i would want to do let's select an image we would want to edit first right i i think i like this i like her pose Ooh beautiful beautiful she's a really good she's a really beautiful model to be very honest so let's work with this let's see what my light fall off will give Ooh, okay okay i don't want that distortion because she used a 16 millimeter lens right i can pull and fix the distortion so what i'm currently doing is to try and send the image in its right direction so we'll come to our exposure tab over here make sure our blacks are clipping so i'll clip my blacks first right 
and reduce the highlights. One thing I like about Capture One 2022 or the whole Capture One engine is that your highlight recovery is very massive and you have to be very careful the way you use it just because, you know, like I said, very massive and I honestly, someone might go for this, but to be very honest, that's not the direction I would go for this, All right? So not totally remove the highlights and uh, you'll find me somewhere here then i'll push in my white and reduce this kind of white so let's see where we are this is our before and this is our after i love the tones in this image but that's not the direction i'll be going to so we'll push in a little bit of let's let's reduce the exposure a notch uh, increase the contrast or reduce the contrast these adjustments can be made you know when it comes to coloring these adjustments end up um, following what the coloring will look like so i can go and color then come back and still make these adjustments but they help to you know be they help as a base to send the coloring in the right direction so there's also one trick i do whenever i push in these levels and clip on my white i always try and bring back my brightness also one trick to color greediness these are traits the image then try and push back the colors you want to see in the third image so i'm going to you know reduce the saturation a tad bit to minus 10 right and i feel like this is not really oriented well you know horizon wise is it all right let's see the crop am i using an original crop that's fine let's see if she's within the frame okay she's within this all right so this is where we started from and this is where we are at. so now let's come to the color tag you can see the histogram is well fixed a little bit the majority of the information is now coming back into the midtones if i want to push it back more i can reduce the exposure and you see it moves it back more now i'm clipping with my black so i'll move my blacks a little bit uh, let's see let's open up the shadows a tad bit just a tad bit not too much not too much right now now i would want to come tackle the coloring issue right so let's see what the icc profile can give us i think with the canon eos m50 there's no pro standard for the canon eos m50 which is not actually wrong because people always think that the pro standard is the right way you know color grading like I mentioned earlier, it's preferential and in the direction you want to send the image, just send the said image. The standard helps to take away some reds in the Canon images. But sometimes, sometimes it's good to keep those reds in the image. Let me show you what I mean. So if I click on show all and I want to try and start from scratch, I'll go to effects, no color correction. And this is what I have as a flat image then i would have to pull the colors up but sometimes you know the default is the best so let's just leave it at that the white balance um with every dark skin right i feel like pushing blues into a dark skin helps to bring out the color of the dark skin so i'm going to you know reduce the white balance not warm it up warming it up looks great to be very honest but i feel like there are a whole lot of warm tones and it's a whole lot of you know and yellows in this i'm still going to have this image warmed up right but i need the dark skin to pop out the more and when i reduce the kelvin just take a look at her skin so before when it was at six thousand, right and right now when it's at five thousand seven hundred and one let's take it a bit more down and i also have to mention this when you are editing an image and you have an idea that it's it is supposed to be in the warm region or the warm tone make sure each and every color present in the image are in their respective warm tones let me explain what i mean so with this blue right this blue looks a bit colder to make it warmer when you warm up this temperature just take a look at how the sky changes right and now adds a bit of yellows to this it turns the blue into teal so if i cool this picture this way or if i cool this picture this way and let me see let me play around with the tint if i cool this picture this way and i still want my warm tones and my um, my skies just make sure i send this into the teal region 
same can be said for this and with the yellows if you're not sure just pick this click here and it shows us within the yellows and let's see let's reduce the yellows the saturation of the yellows then i'm good to go let's see increase the highlights taking a look at this i think some of the yellows are affecting the skin which is not bad which is not bad now um let's see that of the reds yeah a lot of them are in the reds also there are no greens in this Ooh, they are greens i didn't know right okay so let's increase the lightness a little bit let's see that of um, the aqua you see that of the blues all right like i said tier so if i should hold option or alt on the keyboard and click on this arrow sign just take a look at how we've sent in as much as we made it colder here we've tried to bring back the warmness of its environmental colors right and sometimes it's also good to reduce your yellows in your image reducing not taking them out completely right and in capture one you also have the option to you know after this we have another option to use the advanced color editor to even push your image colors to the extreme there's one thing i want to show you a trick when it comes to skin tone i'm not going to match skin tone i'm just going to push skin tone so i'm in the skin tone um, selection tab pick up this go to her skin tap on it and i'm given a color range to which you can find every skin tone so if you take a look at this you have even some of the background being selected right we don't want that so what i would do is to write whilst i have this view selected color range selected you can see even in the image that there are some of the surrounding colors having the same effect so what i will do is to create maxed layer from selection and when i come to my maxed layer let's rename this to scan when i hold m on the keyboard it shows you everywhere the max is i just clean it out so i hold e on the keyboard for the eraser tool i don't want it anywhere except the skin because we want to just affect the skin am i right so i don't want it anywhere except the skin let's clear it even from the outfit this is just a rough cleaning you know if i was to be editing this for a client you know i'll probably take my time and clear it out so just take your time when you edit them up for the purpose of the tutorial sending the image in the direction you want to send it beautiful all right so i'll come back here we have the sorry i'll come back here we have the skin selected click on this again then tap on the skin so currently whatever i will do right now will be within this mask do you get what i mean and as much as we have our view selected color ring if i hold m on the keyboard the max is where we'll have the effect so let me turn off that turn off this then i'll move the hue of this to so take a look at her skin if i move it to the right if i move it to the right i'm moving it towards the yellowish region if i move it towards the left i'm moving it towards you know reddish magenta ish vibe right so you would have to play along with whatever it is you want to see in the image so i'm going to warm this up later so i'll move it towards this direction then i'll increase the saturation a tad bit then i'll reduce the luminance the idea is to reduce the luminance for her to look dark tanned pop out that melanin feel you know i'm all about that melanin feel if you've been following me on my youtube and you know my you know um lightroom coloring days i'm all about that melanin feel you know right so we have this let's see a quick before and after before and after before and after we've made her skin pop out the more now come back to the background let's go to the most famous color balance so like i said take a look at the image the colors you don't want to see in the image attack them within their tonal ranges so if i have any annoying color i would want to fix i'll move to where i can find that color push in the opposite color of that said color or push in a color i would want to see in there so within my shadows i would want to see some blues blues complement the skin and you have a whole lot of shadows and mid and highlights on the skin so 
working more on these when it comes to the blues and push it in there right just take a look at that if it makes it better and my highlights i want to make the image warm right so push this in there and just take a look at that so in as much as we've made the image code we've now sent it back to being warm but then we have our dark skin looking cold bluish to bring out that melanin feel you can still make it warm by pushing in some warmth into your mid-tones and increasing this one trick i also learned is try and play with the luminance of the mid-tones and just take a look at that would you i know i know so let me push this up a little no that's too much that's too much you know okay okay so let's see where we came from before and after before and after before okay i think i need this back here i can push this up a little bit and we'll bring it down let's just leave it there so before and after before and after what do you guys think so one thing also about capture one is you can create another new field adjustment in as much as we've done the color grading on the background you can create another color grading name this color grading one or two you can even reduce opacity or whatever color grading we did here on the background you can do the same thing on this and delete it from the background whichever one works for you just use it so with this second color grading i would want to push some greens into my highlights and just take a look at how it will change the image Wow, so blues here, then I add some, you know, purple here. Look at how we've creatively, you know, color graded this uh, the image. So this is the before the color grading, and this is after the second color grading. Just take a look at that. Just take a look at her skin. It's her skin I'm really concerned about. So let's see where we came from. This is the before. This is the after. Before and after. What do you guys think would you love to edit your images like this like this sorry let me come back to the color editor advanced basic digital loops let me push okay so advanced pick on this view selected color range let's make sure it's not touching the skin okay right so this is what i was looking for so i can increase the lightness of this reduce the saturation well, i think the saturation in there makes it interesting right so this is what we've done this is the before this is the after before and after let me use the split view so before and after before and after if you feel like it's still a tad bit cold you can come back to your white balance and increase the white balance just take a look at that so there's also one thing i want to do the highlights um i, I feel like you see mostly i like to shoot when it's clear sky right because it's either i have a blue white back i mean a blue sky or no i'll just a cloudy sky and i'll just blue everything to white right so let's copy this on to say this let's see what we've done let me rotate this into place so this was for the skin right since we used we copied from the previous one that's what will happen so what i will do is paint it onto the skin You just have to be careful and i'm just doing this because of the tutorial and also just because the color range we have selected we don't have any you know um skin in the sky the, the range of color of the skin in the sky we don't have that 
so i can be as careless as i want but when it comes to the headgear i have to be very careful and even the outfit so mask off before and after we can push in more just because so this is where we are this is the before before and after before and after i feel like this can be fixed more I, I honestly don't like how greenish it looks okay i can send it here so let's see i can warm it up depending on the look i'm going in for it's just how weird the cloud looks for me that's why i'm not really certain on what i'm looking at but aside from that i like this so the before and the after before and after the greens here look a little bit dead to me so i'm just going to bring back some life into it okay so what do you guys think this is what we edited this is where we started from i mean this is where we started from of course and this is where we ended up with the color grading in capture one so what do you guys think do you think you learned something new concerning color grading and how to approach color grading you don't need to understand colors to be able to color grade like i mentioned earlier what you need is to locate the color you don't want in your image make sure you know the tonal range within which the color that you don't want can be found in then tackle that color within that said tonal range then that sets up our color grading. So also when you're warming up your image, make sure each and every color represented in the said image has that warm tone. And when you're coding up the image, make sure each and every color in the said image has that cool tone. Then you're good to go. You can't, you can mix both warm and cold. I only see that when it comes to movies, when it comes to photos, it becomes a little bit, you know, contrasting. Well, contrasting is good, but I, I think it's not really appealing to the eye if you should ask for my honest opinion. It only works for some images and not for all images. One last thing before I leave, let me copy this and put it on this. Then with the skin, we fix that skin issue onto her skin. Mm, that's a rough sketch. All right, so let's see. Before, after. Make sure it's okay. So yeah, that should be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please make sure to subscribe before you leave. Help me reach out to other people outside my continent, which is Africa. So let me let me you know help me reach out to some people in the US, in the UK, by sharing my content on your Instagram page on all other social media platforms i'll be grateful if you do leave me a thumbs up just so that it helps me with the algorithm here on youtube for other people to also you know find my content like how you did wherever it is you found it if it's on my instagram story recommended here on youtube or recommended by a friend help share my content i need your help to you know push my content out there thank you so much for watching today's video like i said don't forget to subscribe Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Let me know down in the comment section below if you'd love to see the Lightroom version of this. Of course, I said I was going to do a lot more on Capture One, but if you'd enjoy the Lightroom also, let me know. I'll also make a Lightroom version of this um, edited images I did here in Capture One. Thanks to, you know, Cassie because uh, I hope I got the name right. I'm going to link her handle down in the description. Just check it out. She's an amazing, you know, model who takes her own pictures. And just go hit her follow button follow her let's blow her let's blow her instagram page thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace